what's going on guys, Dope Swanner here, and this is a topic that I've kind of wanted to cover for a while now, <clears throat> just due to the nature of how often I've gotten messages or people commenting um, about this, and basically that is, can you 3D print a 3D printer? Um, the thing is, with 3D printers, yes, they are becoming more and more mainstream, if you will, but there's still quite a lot of people that don't understand the concept behind, like, actually being able to create a physical object out of, you know, essentially thin air, if you will. Um, so now, basically, when it comes to can you 3D print a 3D printer, I will say that there is not an easy way to answer this question. Um, I'm going to say I'm leaning more towards the no side, and that is due to the nature of needing certain things that, at least as of right now, to my knowledge, you cannot print. Now, your standard um, you know, household 3D printer is going to be printing either PLA or ABS, usually that's like a standard. There are other materials that they can print, like nylon, um, you've got some like wood type filaments, um, you've got rubbery type filaments, there is other things, but the two I would say most common are ABS and PLA, which are plastics. Um, the now, there are such things as 3D printers that I have seen that can actually print circuit boards. Now, that is a lot more intense, a lot more expensive, and I would say much less hobby level and more like professional level um, for prototyping some kind of a board that you want to create. I mean, that still could be hobbyist essentially, but I would imagine that the price on these things are absolutely ridiculous right now. So again, there are other things, like I mean, with a 3D printer, typically you need things like stepper motors, um, which, you know, to my knowledge, there's no way to actually create a stepper motor or, or 3D print a stepper motor. Um, you need things like an extruder, um, you know, uh, the hot end. So there are certain things that you cannot, as of at least right now, really fabricate. I mean, again, with the hot end too, potentially one day, or may maybe you can even 3D print it by, um, if you have like a metal 3D printer, but these are not, again, these are not things that your standard household printer would be able to print. Now there is, if you have not, if you're not in the 3D printing um, scene, if you will, but you're interested in finding out more, there is a uh, project or like a forum or a group, or I don't know how you really describe what it is, but they're called, it's called a RepRap. And RepRap is essentially a um, group who, it's a pretty big, it, when I say group, it's not like you have a team of people that that is RepRap. Anyone can contribute to it. It's like an open source community of people that have created um, basically 3D printers that are essentially supposed to be able to replicate themselves. And uh, again, like I just said earlier, there are certain things that you actually do have to purchase, but the goal of these machines is to make them where they are um, able to be created out of home. Like essentially, you know, you might have to buy um, a board to actually control the thing, and you might have to order some stepper motors or belts or maybe some metal or something like that. But the goal is, for the most part, to be able to create another 3D printer that is um, you know, reliable, uh, as cheap as possible, and uses as many 3D printed parts as possible. And there, there are some crazy, crazy awesome um, rep wrap designs that have been out there. Um, I'd say one of the most common ones is going to be the, um, oh god, is it the, not the Pr Pr Prusa Mendel? No, that's not right. I haven't looked in a while, but again, I can link you guys in the description over to these, um, the forums if you want to take a look at like all the different forums and all the different build logs and stuff like that, but it's a really awesome place and the RepRap forums, I've done some digging around um, for a while there. I haven't actually posted too much, but I've definitely done some digging and there's a lot of really knowledgeable people and um, you know, if you are interested in actually creating your own um, 3D printer versus buying one that's already pre-assembled and you want to do like one of those rep wrap designs, then you can definitely, um, you know, find a lot of help on those forums and read through other people's build logs and problems that they've had. Um, pretty much every single rep wrap design has a dedicated forum, so that way you can go into the sub forum and find out more information about it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this on that note, guys. I, I just, again, this is a question I get all the time is, oh, can you 3D print a 3D printer? And the answer, again, is like yes and no. You're going to have to buy some parts just because we're not at that point right now where everyone's got like circuit board printing printers and, you know, uh, metal printing printers. But with the RepRap, um, you definitely can 3D print a good chunk of at least the bare bones or the um, you know the s a solid structure of the 3D printer. And as time progresses and more and more people have gotten involved in this project, RepRap, um, they're getting much more um, just creative of ways to use parts that are 3D printed versus having to go out and actually buy and and um, 
oh gosh, what's the word? Um, you know, hunt down essentially all these different parts that you need. So I uh, hope you guys are all doing well. If you have any other questions, feel free as always to leave a comment down below and I or someone else will, I'm sure, answer your question. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Peace, guys. Hey guys, don't forget to hit the like button on the bottom of this video. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe for new great videos every single week, including monthly giveaways. Thank you so much for checking out this video and I'll see you guys next time.